Good posing. I like that. <laughs> Thank you so much, Kim, for that. The pose, the toque, and the smile. Uh, we are going to take a look, of course, at our weather conditions. I hope that it puts a smile on your face, uh, just like that person, because we are looking at a pretty decent weekend. And also now changes to the Monday forecast. I won't reveal everything until we talk to Kasha. It's Fire Prevention Week and taking a look at what we can do to help prevent fires. Let's turn it over to Kasha. Thank you, Kasha. For the next couple of days, we've got a pretty brisk northerly, northwesterly wind that will not bode well for those fighting fires, that's for sure. However, high pressure is building in. So we have a couple of days of windy weather upon us and then it begins to stabilize. But what's interesting about this forecast is that we have a low pressure system coming in from the south. That's going to draw up more of a southerly flow just in time for Thanksgiving. So taking a look at Monday, yep, we're going with 21. With and now you know. Thank you very much, Jacqueline, for that explanation. And we are still dealing with, yes, there are some trees with leaves on the branches. However, for the next couple of days, we have a northwest wind. Some of those will come tumbling down to the ground for sure. In terms of where we are going and, and values and temperatures, uh, it's going up into the low 20s by the time we get to next week. Let's turn it over to Kevin in Milton and see what he's up to are looking at high pressure building in. So the northwest flow continues. We saw those light streamers of rain with the westerly flow. Yesterday at times pretty gusty winds, you know, between 50 and 60 kilometers per hour and gusts at times, but now everything's calming down. The northwest flow will be with us at about 20 to 30 kilometers per hour the next couple of days. And then we see a fairly calm weekend and then the warming begins. Next week, yes, we have rain on the way, but the temperatures are on the rise. We're in the low 20s by the time we get to Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday, rainfall and look at that, Humidex readings, it'll feel like in the, the mid 20s. Yes, it comes with rain, but on the other hand, it is warmer. And I love the sound effects, ding, 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 <laughs> to indicate. Okay, uh, let's take a look <laughs> some smart people on the street. I hope you're just as smart. Um, we're going to take a look, of course, at our weather conditions. Let's first, though, go to another very smart man, our man on the street, Kevin in Milton. Great advice. Thank you so much, Kevin. Let's take a look at our weather conditions. We've had some lake effect showers. That's all dissipating as our trough moves away. And we are still dealing with that northwest flow for the next couple of days. I'd consider that to be a light to moderate wind at 20 to 30 kilometers per hour. So it's not going to be very windy, but it will be breezy for the next couple of days. Then we have high pressure for a time until the next low comes in. And so by early next week, the temperature's rising into the 20s, low 20s, and it's going to feel like the mid 20s with rainfall, so it's a warm rain. But thank you very much for that, Natalie. Great recap of that top five. We're going to take a look, of course, at our weather conditions across southern Ontario, and we are looking at a jump in our temperatures by the time we get to Thanksgiving Monday, which will be just in time for Thanksgiving for the Oktoberfest parade in Kitchener-Waterloo as well. Uh, taking a look at our weather conditions, uh, we're looking actually at some warmer air coming our way. So I'll show you that in a moment. Let's go to Kasha right now. She's talking fire prevention week in Mississauga. All right, thanks very much, Kasha. Well, for the next couple of days, we have some moderate northwest winds that will be in our region. Because of the way that this trough went through, it's just that setup for the next couple of days. The showers come to an end and we're looking at high pressure in place. And we're also going to be looking at a shift of the wind direction as we head into the end of the weekend and for Monday because of the next low pressure system, which is going to come in from the U.S. So it's drawing up more of a southerly flow and that will bring up our values. We were talking, I think it was earlier this week, I said that there were some rumblings here behind the scenes about uh, us reaching possibly into the low 20s by Monday and look what has happened? Aha, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, rainfall, yes. For the next two days, we have temperatures that are going to be pretty much seasonal with a northwest flow. So the winds, not as strong as they were yesterday, thankfully, where we had some pretty decent winds uh, gusting anywhere from 50 to 60 kilometers per hour. So at times, it felt a little more raw out there, perhaps, than it will in regard to our weather conditions and to do that, we need to know more about the pattern, which I'll share with you in a moment. But first, let's check in with Kevin. He's at Rattlesnake Point. Uh, temperatures are going to be down into single digits overnight. And Kevin was talking about the winds not being as strong today or tomorrow, but they're still from the northwest. And then we're not seeing much change in our wind barbs here for the next couple of days. It's not until we start to draw in more of a southerly flow. And what will do that is the U.S. low. So that's in the process of developing over the next couple of days and then moving up. That low just skirts off the coast of Nova Scotia. For us, we have high pressure in place. So next week, we're going to see some 
low pressure headed our way again. It does bring rain Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And then the temperatures are sitting in the, the low 20s, Monday being uh, Oktoberfest, yes, but also Thanksgiving.